Hey guys, how's it going? It's Marketing Johnson here again. And today I'm gonna to show you how to give the ultimate social proof to your social media pages when running your dropshipping store. Your customers are getting much more skeptical now, okay? They do not trust Facebook ads. They don't trust like any of these brands that are just popping out of nowhere. You've really gotta have some specific things in place on your social medias for people to actually trust you, okay? A lot of people have been burnt, so this is very, very important. Okay guys, so the customers are really putting two and two together now. They're going onto your social medias before they buy your product. They're reading the comments to see if people are getting their products. They're looking at the followers. If, if a page has 10,000 followers, right, and then they say it's got zero comments on every single post, they go, no, nope, that's very suspicious, don't like it at all. A lot of people have been burnt out there, okay? They're looking for testimonials, they're looking for anything that can make them trust this brand. So I'm gonna show you exactly what to put in place to get them to trust your brand, but you have to treat this ethically, okay? It could easily be taken advantage of. People are not trusting website um, testimonials or website reviews anymore. You can actually check this video out to um, sort of social proof your website reviews if that's what you wanna do. Uh, this will really help you um, with social proofing these website reviews to make them seem a bit more legit as everyone sees the um, alley reviews and, and those sort of things now, for broken English, and they just don't look real at all. So check out that video if you wanna like really know how to social proof your reviews so they seem believable. Now before I show you these tricks and tactics, I first need you guys to promise, because this is very powerful, what I'm about to show you, I need you to promise you'll use this ethically, okay? I don't see anything wrong with giving people the feeling that they're being taken care of with a very high-end um, brand that looks after their customers if that's what you're actually doing. If you're looking after the customers and you've got good shipping times, you're selling a decent product, then I think that's fine. The problem is if you set it up to look like a very high-end brand with a lot of trust and people are just very comfortable buying off you, but then you really screw over the customers and scam them, that's not okay. So you need to promise that you will not do that and if you do do that, then you don't deserve any success in drop shipping and online business in general. Okay guys, so there are four main things you need to have um, on your social media pages, okay? We're gonna use an Instagram page for this example, but this applies to pretty much most of your um, social pages, but mainly people are gonna be seeing your ad and then clicking on your Instagram page, uh, your company page, and looking to see if everything seems legit. That's gonna be the main thing. And this will really boost your conversions. You'll notice this straight away if you don't have a good social media. Okay guys, number one is going to be fake followers, okay? now. I know what people are gonna say, you know, but you need to have them. There's no brand out there that has zero followers, okay? So however you get followers, you need to get them. Get 10,000 followers so you get the swipe up story feature, but you need to have followers and you need to have comments on all your posts. Well, at least your recent posts anyway. So if you have comments um, that are just look stupid like emojis and stuff, that's not okay. You need genuine comments. I would buy verified comments. I made a video on this, buying um, verified followers and comments. That's gonna give you a ton of social proof. If you have verified accounts commenting, saying, got my product yesterday, um, this is such an underrated product, whatever, um, you need to have some verified comments on your most recent posts because that's gonna be the first thing people see and you need to have at least 10,000 followers so you can get that swipe up story feature. That's very important. I use the site SM, smmfollows.com um, to buy all my stuff. Sometimes, you know, they have problems where they don't deliver all the followers or they're just, it's a little bit sketchy. Um, if that does happen to you whilst using it, I don't know any other sites that are better than this one, but this is the one I use. If it does happen to you, you can open a ticket at the bottom, which is kind of like their support, and just put in your order number, and you know, you're missing a few followers, whatever you need, and they will refill them, they will fix you up most of the time, okay? Um, they usually do a pretty good job for me anyway, but I have had some people say they're not the best, but that's the site I use. There'll be a link down in the description if you wanna use it too. Okay guys, number two is going to be the page, the content, the logo, all this stuff. Now let me tell you, Place It is going to be your best friend. This is an amazing software that has unlimited logos, unlimited like pre-made, you know, um, feed posts for you, story posts, everything. I, it is literally gonna be your best friend. I use it so much, 100% um, endorse Place It. They are constantly getting better. They charge about $7 a month 
um, for you if you sign up there and you get access to everything, which is just awesome. Like literally they charge, you know, like 10, $15 for just like one post sometimes. So you might as well pay the $7 a month and get the entire thing for free. I'll throw a link in the description, but you can get your logos designed on there. You just type in what industry you're in and what, um, you know, the colors, you can change everything's customizable. They just have pages and pages of logos. Type in your brand name, type in the industry it's in. They just generate, instantly generate thousands of logos for you to pick from. Um, story content is amazing. Check out this video right here, made on Placeit within like three seconds. You just go into their videos, or if you've got a print on demand store, or you're selling t-shirts, that sort of thing, you don't even have to order your t-shirts to take photos and videos of, okay? You can just upload your design straight to place it, and they will literally like somehow green screen print them onto these shirts and onto these videos, and they will, it's just, it's an amazing, amazing uh, software. The free version of that is Canva, so if you wanna use Canva, but I don't really, like Canva's okay, if you can't afford the $7 a month, but honestly, place it is just so worth that $7 a month. I 100% endorse it. I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna go sign up for that. But yeah, Canva's the free version or place it um, basically handles everything. So I pay for place it. Canva, you can do your logos and stuff, but that's another great thing. You need to have good quality content on there. You need to have at least, um, I think like nine posts on there to fill up your whole feed, at least nine posts. They need to be good quality, and you need to have a very professional logo on your social media page. That's super important. There's no great brand out there that has some dodgy looking logo that you made in paint, okay? They're all very professional. Guys, number three, testimonials. Testimonials from your customers. Now, if you don't have any customers yet, then that's fine. You can get some of your friends to message your page saying that, you know, they, their product is amazing, it came so fast, whatever, then screenshot that and post it on your um, page's story and then add it to your reels, okay? Now, I, again, <laughs> you are faking it, but it's ethical, it's not really ethical if you're gonna screw them over, but if you are gonna provide that same um, service that you know your friends are saying is so great, then I think it's completely fine to do that, and that's just to start you off um, while you don't have any sales, until you start getting sales, you start getting customers, and then they will naturally send you testimonials saying, thank you for this product, it helped me a lot, and you can screenshot that and add that to your reels, add that to your story. That's something people look for now is testimonials, okay? They wanna see that other people are enjoying the product, that it came fast, they're not gonna get screwed over. They wanna see real people. And guys, number four is gonna be always having a story actually on your page. You know, there's not many big brands out there that aren't constantly posting on their story and, and being active. It makes you look more active on your page. It doesn't make it look like a dead page. You know, if you don't have a story, you need to have a story constantly up to give it that, you know, live feeling, a live, great brand, okay? And the other obvious things such as like, having a nice clean website URL that matches your um, Instagram username on your company page. Uh, also no spelling or punctuation mistakes. That's just a no, that looks terrible. Looks like someone from overseas has made this page in like five minutes. Don't have any of that stuff. And also another little thing is make sure you're following some people. Don't be following zero people. Okay, other brands and stuff follow pages and things related to that brand. So follow pages um, and other you know companies, whatever, that are related to your brand, okay? It's that simple. Okay guys, now I'm going to critique a page and show you exactly what's great about it and what's not so great about it to give you the perfect understanding of what to do on your page. Okay, this is an old store that I used to run that I had a social media page for. I'm not currently running this store. The website URL, I don't even think it works anymore because that's short, uh, I've stopped paying for the Shopify subscription to this store, but this is it. Posh to Calibrate, it's a nice clean username. Posh to Calibrate.com, nice clean URL. It, I was selling the uh, Posh to Brace and the back stretcher, okay? Which is a pretty common drop shipping uh, product. So as you can see, it's nice and clean. I like the URL, I like the username. Easy to remember, nice and clean, all good. Uh, fix your posture now. The description in the uh, page is pretty good. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Got some arrows pointing to the website. Good call to action. Okay, now the logo looks pretty good. That logo was made on Placeit. 
um, took all the five minutes and it looks pretty professional, okay? Maybe the one thing I would change about the logo is I might try and center it a bit more, but apart from that, it looks pretty professional. Okay, followers, only 4,000 followers. Now that's okay, some brands don't have that many followers, but you don't get the swipe up story feature then, okay? So I would bump that up to 10, 11, 12K, something like that. Following four people, let's have a look. Following a couple of my friends and my mum. Not great, okay, not great at all. We don't wanna be doing that. We wanna be following other related brands. So maybe some fitness influencers, uh, you know, something like that. We wanna be following those kind of people. This doesn't look right. Now, testimonials, which is the reels here. Okay, let's have a look. Now this is great. This was um, one of my friends messaging the page saying how great it was and stuff. So I screenshotted it, put it on. Uh, we put it on the page, the story, and then added it to the reels. As you can see, it looks great. And that's even me messaging the page uh, through my private account saying how great it was. And we screenshotted that and put it on there. Okay, so another problem with this is it doesn't have a story up right now. So there's no, no nice, uh, orange ring around the logo, which gives it a bit more life. So it looks dead, okay? So that should have a story as well. Now let's go on one of the recent posts. Okay, has one comment on there. From a verified Instagram account, this is really good. This is so underrated. Now this was a comment that I paid for using that site, SMM Follows. You should probably have a few more comments there. And then you should have some comments from non-verified accounts too, but that will happen naturally when you run ads on the page and you get people commenting on there. But the verified ones will always appear at the top, so that's why it's good to have, buy some verified ones and put good, uh, good feedback on there. So that's good. I would probably have a couple more comments than that. Um, and then obviously these other ads don't have any comments on them. All the recent posts should have some comments on there. So make sure, you know, if you've got 12,000 followers and there's no comments on any of the posts, that looks very suspicious. So put comments on the post, make them look like people are engaging. Now again here with the, uh, with the content, content is okay, it's not great. I need an extra one filled up there. So we need a couple more posts to really fill this page up. Uh, right now, this isn't enough posts. We need more than that. You don't accumulate 12,000 followers by having six, seven posts up there. Okay, so fill the page up a bit more. And again, use place it to make tons and tons of content. Like check out this story. I'm, I'll literally go into place it and make a story right now for uh, Posh to Calibrate. And you can see how fast and easy it can be. Okay, so this is the story here. As you can see, it looks super, super professional and 50% sale. And if you have the 12,000 followers, you'd have the swipe up link and off you go. So that looks really professional. Place it is great for using, uh, for, for making tons of awesome content on there for your social pages. So I know I am promoting it way too much, but I really just love Place It. It is like a lifesaver for me. Yeah guys, to sum it up, if I was to fix this page right now and start reselling this product, I'd put a few more posts on there using Placeit. I would add verified comments to the most recent posts. I would buy um, more followers for this page. I would follow other brands and influencers related to this page that are similar. And I would probably center that logo a bit better and have a story up. So guys, that's how I run my social media pages for drop shipping and to really give people that feeling when they when they click on it and they're a little bit skeptical of the ad and they click the social media page just to see what it's about and they get that nice calm feeling, oh, this is a genuine brand, I can trust this. That's what you wanna give people. And it will massively increase your conversion rates. You'll see this in your Shopify store. But that's what I'm doing. I think you guys should do the same. It just, it's not enough anymore just to have a, a social media page with zero followers, it's just not enough. So a lot of people in the comments now are probably gonna be saying, oh, this is so unethical, uh, you know, why would you, you can't do this, you're tricking people, blah, blah, blah. 
Yes, it is, but it's also very hard to start off from zero. So you can sort of fake it until you make it. In my opinion, I don't find it unethical unless you're actually not providing the service that you're making people feel that you're providing. So if you're gonna say, you know, uh, if, you, if you've got people, if you've got screenshots of testimonials saying, oh, seven day shipping, then you need to have seven day shipping, okay? If you don't, and if you just use this, this free training and tactics that I use, if you use it to screw people over, then you don't deserve to be successful in this at all. So I hope that clears some things up. I know I'm gonna get roasted in the comments about how you know, unethical this is and you're really tricking people into buying, but that's fine. I hope you guys enjoyed the free content. I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.